And the Canucks have punched their ticket to round two. The traditional handshakes as the Canucks close it out here in an absolute nail biter. And I bet Rick Tockett won't mind if the first question he gets after this game is about his decision to start Arthur Shilovs in goal. Not to say Casey DeSmith couldn't have done something similar, but Shilovs was perfect in this game. And he is as all smiles as you could possibly be after holding off the Nashville Predators in a literal one goal game. Go back the last game, 0-0 going into the third in Vancouver and the Canucks get on the board and the Preds found a way to get this game back here to Nashville. And for Vancouver, started strong, had some of their best efforts in the middle of the second period and the start of the third, but dogged determination on the only goal of the hockey game. And there is the series clinching goal scorer, Pew Suter. And you mentioned that Miller wasn't out with his line mates because he had a long shift. So Pedersen came out and found gold. Sometimes things just work out, don't they? They only gave one assist on the goal. That was Brock Besser. They're the two goaltenders. With a brief embrace, the two captains a few moments ago, two of the best defensemen on the planet, Quinn Hughes and Roman Yossi and ex Canuck Luke Shen. His team goes down in defeat, but boy, did Nashville play a series which at the end they can hold their heads high. That was as close as you can come in terms of games that could go either way every night. And the Canucks wind up prevailing four games to two. And what about the demeanor of the coaches? Both named Jack Adams finalists. You've got two Norris Trophy finalists in Yossi who had the puck in his stick in the last 10 seconds in the high slot. And he put it up and over. And of course, Quinn Hughes doing yeoman's work in this game as the coaches will get to each other. And Brunette earlier in the series didn't come right out and say it, but he suggested Rick Tockett with the numbers he has should maybe be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Rick said, well, he's just trying to butter me up, I think. And there they exchange pleasantries and an embrace as it's Tockett's Canucks who prevail in this one. And the Predators fans, many of them have stuck around to salute their team. But it's Tockett who walks off victorious. And the Canucks are going to face Edmonton in round number two. In an all-Canadian series, trying to move on to the Western Conference Finals.